Welcome to Pearls in Ophthalmology. My name is Rob Melendez, the Editor-in-Chief for this newsletter. Today we'll be discussing a Grand Rounds case presented by Dr. Molly E. Ritzma. This is a patient that presented with a bright white light uh, in his right eye, then he could not see anything. It was an 83-year-old Caucasian male who presented with sudden painless loss of vision in his right eye, which occurred six hours prior to presentation. Review Systems was positive for shoulder pain for one week. His past medical history was remarkable for hypertension, coronary artery disease, and status post aortic valve replacement in 1990. Past doctor history on remarkable medications include diltiazem and coumadin, and social history was remarkable for remote history of tobacco use. On examination, his visual acuity with correction was count fingers at three feet. 2040 visual acuity in the left eye. Pupils 5 millimeters in each eye, minimally reactive in the right, but uh, 2 plus afferent pupillary defect. Visual field and motility examinations were both unremarkable. His slit lamp examination was remarkable for a 2 to 3 plus nuclear sclerotic cataract in both eyes. His intraocular pressure was normal at 12 millimeters of mercury in each eye. External examination revealed no temporary artery cords. Good TA pulses and there is no scalp tenderness to palpation. His dilated fundus ectopic exam rather uh, revealed diffuse whitening in the posterior segment of the retina with a obvious uh, cherry red spot in the center. There's no obvious uh, disc edema and the vessels were unremarkable. So the diagnosis at this point was a central retinal artery occlusion also known as a CRAO. And the question is, are there any treatments which may be beneficial? We recommend pausing it now and providing your own answers before proceeding. A brief history on central retinal artery occlusion, also known as CRAO. It was first described by Dr. Von Graff in 1859. Dr. Samuelson in 1881 actually described nitride inhalation for the treatment and Mules in 1888 recommended an anterior chamber paracentesis. The incidence of CRAO has been reported to be approximately 0.85 per 100,000 people per year. Typically presents with acute painless loss of vision, APD, retinal edema with a cherry red spot and narrowing of arterioles and venules. The etiology is quite diverse, but the most common causes include a thrombus, an embolus originating in the form of a cholesterol 74% of the time, platelet fibrin plaque 15.5%, and calcium at 10.5%. Patients also present with an increased IOP, migraine, and GCA in 1-2% of patients. The retinal survival time includes clamping of the CRA in 38 elderly individuals, that had atherosclerosis and hypertension. Um, these rhesus monkeys uh, were found to have no detectable damage in less than 97 minutes. More than 97 minutes, however, did uh, show an abnormality. Treatment options include no treatment, conservative treatment, thrombolysis, as well as surgical removal of the emboli. Anterior chamber paracentesis. This was a study in which 53 patients with non arteritic CRAO uh, presented and who underwent a paracentesis. 50% of the patients had improvement in their visual acuity versus the controls, which only had 12% um, uh, improvement of their visual acuity. Paracentesis and carbogen uh, in combination was a retrospective study of 89 consecutive patients in which they received this combination and paracentesis. 23% had improvement greater than two snell lines on the eye chart and the control at 18%. Conclusion, paracentesis and carbogen of little benefit. Hyperbaric oxygen treatment, uh, the theory is that it preserves retina in oxygenated state until the spontaneous recanalization and reperfusion. Findings of this study revealed subjective improvement of visual acuity in 19 of 21 patients. Systematic treatment uh, includes uh, five patients with CRAO, CRAO rather, 
less than 48 hours treated randomly, and 16 patients with CRAO less than 48 hours treated with ocular massage, isosorbide dinitrate, IV diamox, IV mannitol, and AC paracentesis, and IV methylprednisolone. Uh, assessed arterial flow with three mirror lenses. Uh, they continued uh, treating until return of arterial flow or all steps completed. Improvement in retinal blood flow was shown and visual acuity in 73% of patients with, system, with systemic uh, treatment, 12.5% in the control group. Other modalities for the treatment of CRAO include uh, there was a retrospective case series of 71 eyes with CRAO, uh, 44% or 44 rather. Uh, had aspirin treated, um, and as you can read the others, there was no single or combination treatment that was found to be a significant factor in the improvement of visual acuity. There was also a recombinant tissue plasminogen activator used. Uh, this was found to be effective in treatment of CVA, MI, and a pulmonary embolus. Reported cerebral hemorrhage, however, after systemic administration. So the RTPA findings showed, uh, this of course was a retrospective non-comparative case series in which 46%, 46 of the patients had a CRAO and 7 had a BRAO. 66% had improvement with the vision and two patients with the temporal, uh, temporary hemiplegia, one with hypertensive crisis. There's an EGLE study which was a prospective randomized multi-center study started in 2002 which local intra-arterial fibrinolysis versus conservative management. Um, this is an ongoing uh, study in which they're still enrolling patients. So the workup in a CRAO uh, patient in this case revealed a set rate of 32, a CRP of 2.5, which was elevated, and an INR of 2.7. Carotid Doppler revealed mild stenosis bilaterally. On follow-up examination, the patient was started on prednisone 60 mg QD uh, for the elevated CRP. Temporal artery biopsy was performed, which was bilateral uh, and negative. Uh, patient was, for, was referred to the cardiologist for an echocardiogram, which was normal, and uh, follow-up at one month revealed uh, presence of neovascularization at the iris, in which the patient received PRP, uh, panretinal photocoagulation laser. Recommendations if patients present shortly after the onset of a CRAO, consider treatment. Remember GCA and the differential diagnosis of CRO, CRAO and follow closely for NBI. Some technician pearls. Um, encourage your technicians to suspect an APD with any sudden loss of vision and need to evaluate for neovascularization of the iris prior to dilation on follow-up examinations. This does conclude the presentation of central retinal artery conclusion uh, prepared by Dr. Molly E. Ritzma, comprehensive ophthalmologist at Eye Associates of New Mexico. We do appreciate your attention to this Grand Rounds presentation. If you have one and would like to submit one, please email us at editor at iPearls.com. This concludes the Grand Rounds presentation. Thank you.